Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, where are you going, man? There's no need to clean up the stage right now. We have additions right here. Oh, I'm not a janitor. Thomas Wood, sir. Musician. Playing in Paul Gordon's orchestra was a childhood dream of mine. He's a living legend. He is You're right, young man. Paul Gordon is a legend. But Paul Gordon isn't interested in you. You're not the person we are looking for. Uh, so please, clear the stage. Why not? I have something to show to you. And to Mr. Gordon. Let him come over and I will show him how I play. No, there is no need to wait, Mr. Gordon. You know, young man, this is not my first audition. You, you may be a great musician, but that's not the thing. Our orchestra, it's, um, it's white. That's the way it's historically been. Academic music, it's not a jazz band. So it's all about the color of my skin. I just don't want you to waste your time and energy. Can you find the exit or should I escort you out? Why won't you work? I think you need to refill the coffee beans. Oh. Can I help? <laughs> I don't know about these machines. Uh, thanks. Okay. Double espresso, no sugar. How did you know that? In one of your interviews, you mentioned that you like double espresso. <laughs> Thomas Woods, clarinet. Hey. Oh, nice to meet you, Thomas. Nice to meet you. You uh, here to audition? Yes. I went up on stage, but unfortunately, they didn't let me play for you. They didn't? Well, what do you mean? I don't know. Guys, what is going on here? Paul, well, what happened? Why is that guy with you? Brandy, did you actually turn a musician away from this audition because of his race? Paul, oh, come on. Everybody has an absolutely equal chance here. We've listened to that guy, and unfortunately, he wasn't good enough. And he is not ready to admit it now. How dare you? What? It wasn't like that. You know it. Randy, I was gone for like five minutes and you went on with these auditions without me? Well, yeah, yeah, you're the, you're the company director, but I am the conductor of this orchestra and I have to work with these people. I want to hear this guy play. Paul, I... As you wish. As you wish. Please. Mr. Gordon, thank you very much for this chance. However, there's a line of other musicians in the hall. And I think it, it's not fair that everybody will hold up over there because one guy needs to perform twice. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thomas, uh, you'll be the last musician in line, but I will make sure to listen to you. Okay, thank you.
You're Thomas, aren't you? What do you want? I come in peace. There is something about you that really caught Paul's eye. He never been fighting for anybody like that. Honestly saying that I felt something in you too. What are you talking about? I know I wasn't too friendly to you, but the thing is, I've been playing the clarinet all my life since I was a kid. And uh, honestly, I, I wasn't good enough. And, um, and when, when, when you walked in, I felt competition. Look, Thomas, I, I'm sorry that I was mean and harsh to you. I wish you good luck. See you later, Thomas. Oh, Thomas, finally. Don't let me down, son. Yes, Thomas. Surprise us. Thank you. You're free to go. I'm sorry, but the instrument is broken. It's not my clarinet. Someone in line must have taken mine by mistake. Uh, I don't know, but... Of course, first their own color, then their own instrument. A bad worker blames his tools. No, no. Thomas, I have to admit, I, I'm disappointed. I thought I sensed some potential in you, but... I see that I'm wrong. And now you're hearing it from me personally. You're just not a good fit for us, and you won't get a third chance. Thank you, and goodbye. But Mr. Gordon. Uh -uh. Can you find the exit, or should I ask it you out? Hey, sir. Please, let me see it. It's mine.
about that guy, um, that one who almost fell off at the beginning, um, Mitchum. Right, Mitchum. No, well, he's not bad. I don't know. It's, it's, it's like he didn't have any soul in him. Can you hear that too? Uh, it's it's nothing, nothing. Uh, let's not get distracted. What about Mitchum? Uh, or maybe that girl with the sax? Remember? Who is that? He's, he's so good. It's it's nothing to see. She definitely has a talent, Paul. <laughs> we gotta go talk to him. Wait, Paul. Uh, what? What do we gotta talk to him? Randy is uh, the guy from the audition earlier. Thank you, thank you. Thomas, that was beautiful. Why didn't you play like that earlier in the audition room? I didn't lie to you. Someone slipped me a broken instrument, but I found mine. I must admit you play much better outside. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to join me? Mr. Gordon, I know you said you wouldn't give me another chance. Thomas, you're hired. What? Why shouldn't we discuss it first? What is there to discuss? He's in. He's an excellent musician. Mr. Gordon, it's a great... Shut up, kid. Hold on a second. You are a star, but you seem to forget that I'm a director here. This is the Opera House, not a nightclub in Harlem. Decent people come here to listen to academic music. There is no place for him here. All right, Randy. I hear you. We'll just have to play. Somewhere else. What? I am never gonna work with you again. Are you out of your mind? What do you need this guy for? You're a racist. And when I make that public, I doubt if anybody else will ever want to work with you again. <laughs> Sir, thank you for believing in me. I won't let you down. Thomas, today, it was all about you. You fought and you won. Me? Well, I'm all about the music, and the music is all about soul. And soul has no color, because it's on the inside. Thank you, sir. Barbara, you're gonna be a director, but don't worry about it. It's only on paper. I got a delegation coming in from India tomorrow, and I need somebody to make them feel comfortable. And that's gonna be you, and only you can help take this company global. Do you need this job? Come on, Barbara. What do you say, Barbara? It's now or never. 